There are two things that I've wanted to do as long as I can remember, write and work with kids. Fortunately for me, these are also things that I have felt confident in as long as I can remember. When I was a teenager, I earned money by babysitting. I remember sitting for those so-called difficult kids and being able to work magic. My presence seemed to make the crier stop crying, the silent speak, and the socially awkward play. I also wrote a lot when I was a teen. I had many journals in which I would write my ever-changing feelings. I also wrote stories, mostly about the teenage life I wished I had. I did some professional writing for the teen section of the local paper for several months, a position which I won by submitting an essay about my relationship with my grandfather. But being an intelligent and highly motivated individual, I wasn't convinced I could make a career out of writing. So I opted for a career in school psychology. Children, after all, were my other passion. I've been working in that field for nearly 15 years. Fast forward to 2008. I had two children of my own and was expecting a third. It would be a boy, which I was thrilled with, since I already had two girls. But his infancy and toddlerhood weren't what I had expected and were nothing like I experienced with my daughters. I knew that there was something different about him. It wasn't right. Fast forward again to 2012. I found myself in the midst of a spiritual renewal. I had spent a period of time in prayer and fasting, and God was speaking to me. I knew he was telling me it was time to use my gift, the one he had given me but that I had hidden for the past 20 years. I needed to write, to tell my story. That's when I began blogging. My blog is called Peace It All Together. I use it as a platform to explore how to make peace with the pieces of my life. I write about my faith and family. I also write about my son and his struggle with sensory processing disorder. I also write to raise awareness and share with others so that they may know they are not alone. Fast forward one last time to October 2012. I was sitting at a marriage conference. The speaker was asking for stories, stories about finding rainbows and cobwebs. I felt God speaking to me again. You are trying to do that every day, he said. So I submitted my story, and here I am telling you about it. This is still hard to believe. It's taken many years, but God knew that I would get here. And he continues to inspire me. I hope that he inspires you with these stories.